Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 203. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 203 to 210. In Trick 203, we want to see how to create sequential numbers in formulas. Now, we can also create uh, sequential numbers in cells, and we'll look at a few ways to do that, but if you want to do it in a formula, uh, we can't use all the methods, and there's one method that's slightly better than other methods. So you ready? Here's one way to do it. If I type 1 and then enter 2, highlight both of these cells, I've established a pattern which is add 1, so when I point to that little fill handle with my crosshair and click and drag to copy it down, it knows to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add 1. I'm going to control Z. Now, um, or ZZ. Control Z is undo. Now, another way to do this is to type a number 1 here, whatever the start number is, and then in this cell say equals one cell above plus 1, and then copy it down. Now, neither of those methods will work when you're inside of a larger formula. Here's a method that will work, though. Equals rows function. Rows functions, and we'll say A3, since we're sitting in A3 right now, the formula is A dollar sign, 3, colon, A3, close parentheses. This formula right here is asking the question, how many rows are there? And we went from 3 to 3. If I could get this right, I can't type. So we're saying, uh, here's row 3 to row 3. And this is asking, how many rows are there? Well, there's only one, row 3. Well, because we've locked this and not this, as we copy this formula down, that will expand. The range will expand. Let's see how that works. Control Enter, point to your fill handle, and click and drag. If I click in the last cell and hit F2, you can see, sure enough, it got it right. It was locked on A3, but as it copied down, this part uh, of the range was not locked, and so it moved. And so that's a way to get how many rows. Right now it's saying from 3 to 12, which is 10. Now let's compare this to another method that I have used often, um, but um, gets into trouble sometimes. So row of A1. Row says, hey, what row is this? Not how many rows. With an S is how many rows. So I'm going to control enter and then copy that down. Uh, so when we get here, it's still saying, it's still looking at only one cell. What row is that? Now let's just see what happens when we insert uh, a row up here to these two uh, possibilities. Right click, number two, right click insert. Now look at this. This one doesn't work, one, three, four, but this one remained uh, just fine. What about if we insert a row here? Well, um, it's missing a, a number here, but we can just go here and then copy it down and we got it. We're good to go. You can also um, so that's the, the main advantage to that. If you insert anything, uh, this formula here with the rows remains intact. Now let's see how to use this in a larger formula. Our goal here in this column is just to put a word, but we want a max of five. We want to be able to display these words. And any time we type a new number here, we want to only see three of them. So here's a formula you could use. Equals if. Um, rows, and this cell that we're sitting in is C5, so I'm going to type C dollar sign 5, colon C5. If, and remember, this will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, however many we copy down. If that's less than or equal to, and then we'll click on this max right here. That's the max. And we need to lock that, so I'm going to hit F4 uh, once and twice, because I'm copying it only down, and that's uh, the dollar sign in front of the row reference. If that's uh, true, remember, this will be um, the if function, so it'll give us a true false. Right now it's 1. So when it gets up and past 3, then this will become false. So now we want to put, that's the logical test. What are we going to put in the cell if it's true? We're going to put the word rad in quotes. Otherwise, and now false, we're going to do blank, which is double quote, double quote, close parentheses. Now control enter and double click, um, well, we have to drag this down. And sure enough, you can see right there, there's the formula. And it works just fine if we change this to 5. 
There it goes. Now, we've already seen this uh, strategy in lots of other videos, much more complicated formulas, but I'm just concentrating on this idea of this rows part. Let's look at another example here. What if we wanted to do it this way instead of up and down? You could use, similar to uh, this one right here, you could use the columns function. And you would still do the same thing. Here's E and 9, so you'd, except for the dollar sign has to be in front of the E, the column reference, colon E9. And that formula will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, the same thing applies. You can insert columns wherever you want, and this formula will remain the same. Uh, one last example. Um, if we wanted one parentheses like we want for te uh, a number sequence sometimes, we could, uh, with a formula, we could go rows. And then what cell are we in? We're in F11. So I'm going to type F dollar sign 11, colon F11, close parentheses. And then I'm going to ampersand to join in quotes, uh, close parentheses. And that formula will give us 1, 2, 3, 4 with parentheses. So if I copy this down like this. All right, so that's just a little bit about uh, sequential numbers in formulas. All right, see you next trick.